Right, so here we've got both the images taken of the piano from the last video. Um, if you remember, the image on the left was taken with 50 ISO, and the image on the right was taken at 3200 ISO, quite a bit different. And you should be able to see side by side here quite a significant amount of noise in the second image as opposed to the first, and that's what we need to get rid of. Now, the best way of doing this, when you buy Neat Image, you can actually use it as a standalone program, or you can load it into Photoshop as a plugin and once it's there it's very easy to use you just go to filter neat image and reduce noise and it will bring up its own little interface which you can work on now most of the time I use auto profile but in this case if we click auto profile you can see it's taking a profile of the noise from the white area now there's not going to be an awful lot of noise there so I'm assuming it's not going to work very well so if I go into noise filter settings click and drag a small square and go to 100% you can see it's made no difference in fact it looks slightly worse so I'm not happy with that if we go back to device noise profile now what I'm gonna do rather than let the software pick a uniform area of noise I'll do it myself I'll just pick here click and drag and that's the largest it will go on this file um, now I've selected a uniform part of the noise in the dark area click auto profile again and it'll probably take a bit longer because there's more noise in this area there we go that's done so now we go back into noise filter settings back up to a hundred percent and click and drag and see what difference that's made and you can see it's made quite a big difference to the noise there really good let's uh, sharpen that a little bit to keep the edges good and then increase the noise reduction a little bit more and you can see there that's getting rid of a lot of the noise maybe a bit too much let's reduce some of the chrominance channels and the luminance try and preserve some details now you've got four buttons here you can actually tweak about until you get the image to a point where you're quite happy with it uh, at the moment that looks pretty good it's really kept the detail well on the lettering and it's kept the edges sharp now I'm quite happy with that so once you get to a point where you're happy with the with the image click apply and it will start applying that to the to the photo so there we go that's done now and you can see again side by side there's still a touch of noise there but we've kept all the detail in the shot and a lot of that noise is gone so let's have a look at this full screen that's pretty good you can see that from a 3200 image that's not bad at all we've lost a lot of the noise let's uh, reduce that back down and compare it and I hope you can see that there's actually not amazing amount of difference between the two shots now and with a bit more work and a bit more time and care you could get that down to a point where it's acceptable for stock so that's quite incredible for a 3200 ISO image to get it down to a point where you know the, the grain is virtually gone and that's the beauty of using neat image with Photoshop or as a standalone product so if you haven't got it already and you do shoot stock or you have your images printed um, as wedding books or fairly big I would totally recommend getting hold of a copy of neat image or noise ninja uh, to, to work on your images and the noise from high ISOs.